is going to be a reply video to my friend Muzzle Mike and also a video for a newer vlogger Random Numbers and Ridge Runners I'll put the channels for both of those down below in the description right now I'm using my GoPro I don't typically use my GoPro so much for moto vlogging I use the Vado more because it's just kind of handy to use and it's always in my pocket. And I actually use the GoPro mostly for uh, family holiday get-togethers. It's so wide angle you can set it off in the corner of the room and people actually forget you're even using it and filming them so you get the whole event. but. The videos I make with that are only interesting to family members, so I don't ever post them as public. Because it's basically just an hour of family sitting together and visiting for the holidays and opening gifts and stuff like that. But I'm going to rotate some of the pictures of the setups I do have. First I'm going to show my Vado setup. It's important with all the cameras if you're going to use them first person like I do it's important to get the kind of helmet that's got the chin guard that gives you enough space and is tipped the right direction so that you can aim the cameras properly that's about the number one deal that you have to think about and with my bell helmet I got a bell apex helmet I specifically chose that just because of the way the chin guard was and the angle. Wow, a lot of traffic all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on this Friday to where traffic is this bad. But we'll get her done. Now as far as the sound of the different cameras, the three cameras I use for vlogging, the Vado the most of all, and it's probably secondly is the Bloggy, although it doesn't have quite as wide of an angle, it gives you a pretty good view to where it looks just about like what you're seeing with your eyes. But one problem for me I've encountered with the Bloggy is if you move your head around a lot and you're going back and forth scanning for traffic, it probably makes the people dizzy watching your video because the movement is just, I mean, it's like back and forth, back and forth like this. And with this GoPro, it's not quite so bad, but with the bloggy being a normal focal length lens, I think a lot of people would probably get motion sickness from it. And I can't seem to keep my head still enough with all the rubbernecking I do in my area I just don't trust the traffic ever but I would have to say as far as the sound the bloggy is by far the best in fact I've heard uh, three thousand dollar prosumer cameras and the sound they produce which by the way is excellent too but I think I don't think the bloggy has anything to uh, be considered second best compared to them. I think the sound is just uh, about as good as you can get in a camera and especially for a point and shoot camera. You can also still find that bloggy too. I didn't know the, the swivel lens model. If you search on Amazon for Sony bloggy and scroll down you'll see the dark purple when it's still available and as a matter of fact the picture doesn't even show it but that dark purple is so dark it looks almost black so you can basically call it a black camera with a little bit of purple tint to it is what it looks like to me. But I will show you a view of what the bloggy looks like and it's uh, it's nice because with the bloggy you don't need to have to stack the velcro a certain way like I do with the Vado to get the angle right. You just put the Vado in your helmet and as long as you have the space in the chin guard to do it, the lens will swivel whatever way you want so there's no compensating for that.
In fact, it's a shame all the newer bloggies have a fixed lens anymore, so when these are sold out, which fortunately there's still some available, but when these are, are uh, sold out, it's going to be uh, hard to find a swivel lens camera with as good a sound as this. Now I know there are a few others out there. I think Sanyo makes one. And I've seen a couple of people use that with the swivel lens, but I just don't, I, the sound's adequate. The problem with the, the GoPro sound for me, and it may be just me that hears this, but it seems to have a, a high-pitched harmonic with it. Anytime somebody comes on, if I start a video and I'm not even watching it, I can tell right away it's a GoPro because of that high-pitched sound. But with the newer GoPro 2, if you plug in an external mic, it's totally gone. So it must be a function of the microphone or the wiring to the circuit board itself because it's totally gone with the new GoPro 2s and the external mic setups. There's uh, none of that high frequency harmonic with it. But anyway, I was uh, wanting to do this and anybody else that's interested in doing it as a reply to muzzle mic also show what camera gear you are currently using and what camera gear you prefer to use for moto vlogging.